There you go guys, the F1 car. As you can see it was a rebel drop, I've already unlocked it, but I'm going to show you how to do it. There's two different ways and I'm going to show you both. Now many of you have probably been using this method to try and unlock the F1 car. Um, making sure you fast travel when you get here, wait for the loading screen. And you probably found the same sort of thing as me, that it's never there. Uh, there is another way of doing it, which I'm going to show you in a second. I just want to show you again that this way doesn't work. There's a couple of videos of people saying it does, and I've been, well, I tried it for an hour, um, and nothing turned up. Uh, so obviously it didn't work that well for me. Um, like I said, I'm going to show you another way of doing it, uh, which is sort of guaranteed, instead of waiting for the random spawn. Now to do that, what we need to do is go all the way up here to Regino and we need to clear it out. I'm going to start that now. Uh, the way that it works basically, once we've um, gone through all this and it's free, um, we unlock a race where basically you start off with the F1 car. Um, once you finish the race, you're still in the car. Um, and then obviously it's unlocked and it saves you spending hours and hours and hours hoping for the random event where you find that little F1 car underneath that little truck. But I'm going to get started and I'll show you what happens at the end. So we have nearly done it now. The last thing that we need to do is just raise the flag. And then we'll have completed this bit and we should, should be able to get the F1 car. Just over here, the last tiny little bit. Right, so we've taken over this town now. That should let us get onto the race where we get to use the F1 car. And then we should get to keep it after. This town belongs to the people again. Now, this is the race that we need to do uh, the city sprint. Once we do this, we should start off in the F1 car. Um, after the race is finished, we should still be in the F1 car and then we can take it to the garage to save. Um, I'll get in the car now. And let's see how quick we can get through this. Hopefully it doesn't take too long so you guys don't get bored. Pretty quick and quite hard to control, but it's pretty good. And I can't wait until I've got it in my garage and then I can use it whenever I want. Use our boost. We need to get the car in a rebel drop, and we've not unlocked it yet. Uh, this is terrible. Quite strong for an F1 car, though. Not that far out of the way, did not it? No. We've got ten more. Right, 
So what we're going to do is quit. And there you go, we're still in the car. But now we need to take it to the garage to make sure we can save it. And as soon as we've got it in, you'll see it loading and saving, and then we can get it in a rebel drop, which I'll show you as well. Let's just hope we don't explode or anything on the way. And we're nearly there. Did I miss it? Oh no, it's just the way. There you go, processing, just to show that I haven't had the car already. It is just from that race. And that's easier, it saves doing the spawning bit. I tried it myself, so it took me about an hour and nothing showed up. Um, but there you go guys, that's how you get it. Thanks for watching, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.